And whenever you look at words, you will use anti-sounds to try and sound with. There are even anti-sounds that cannot be sounded. Informality will attract people to you. Formality will repel people. Hello. How are you? I'm a perfect robot. <laughs> I am highly educated. Can you tell by my speech? However, I want absolutely nothing to do with the likes of you. <laughs> Formality pushes people away. We listen to music that we enjoy from singers because it's informal. Informality. We don't say, hello, how are you? We say, hi, how's it going? How you doing? Doing. How are you? G ye? E eh? E eh? G ye? How are you? Oh, how you doing, darling? It's so great to see you. Hey, you guys, it's so great to be here with you. Ta, be here with you. Interesting. Creates a very different impact on people. Now, if you want to scare people, use formality. If you want to open their hearts, use informality. Example. We were taught a word like hand. Hand, hand, hand. We make it short. Hint, hint. What I'd like you to do is get in the habit of elongating them and getting a sense of what they feel like in your mouth. Airflow creates fluency. Compression maintains support. And with most issues with voice, you'll find it lacking. Both of those components will be gone. We've been taught to hold our breath when we talk. Hello, how are you? It really doesn't matter because I'm just using consonants anyway. So I tend to sound very nasal, and I tend to sound k t p m z p z k r r. <laughs> on the other hand, if I were to talk on a continuous stream of air, foundationally built on a bed of air, and I just drop my words on there like a little conveyor belt, sending these little gold coins out to the world, it has a melodious and hypnotic quality to it. Here's your homework. Go over these words, these sounds. <coughs> Say the words and feel what they feel like. So example, hand, men, lest, that, clap. That's what we're taught. What's the difference? Big difference. Hand. That. That. Clap. Now it has a very unique signature sound, that ah. If you ever thought you had difficulty singing, this is why. You look at a phrase like, come away with me. What you were taught in school was formality, and that is consonant emphasis, which stops airflow. Come away with me would be staccato and very Morse code-ish with starts and stops. It would be come away with me. Come away with me. Come away with me in the night.